Millions today are facing heat advisories with some areas in a triple-digit heat index. The intense heat waves causing dangerous conditions for workers. But new tech is aiming to keep them safe. Sam Brock has more. In Alabama, the temperatures topped 90 degrees today as employees at Tuscaloosa's Black Warrior Brewing lug kegs and set up pallets of cans in the scorching sun. But now they're equipped with a new tool, wearable arm tech that displays your core temperature. You're wearing the armband? Yep. What does that measure? It measures our uh, heart rate, our exertion level, and our core temperature. Knowing that 106 degrees is the point when the human body starts to break down and heat-related illness sinks in. Could this have prevented something more serious from happening? Absolutely. I've seen a lot of serious stuff happen in a lot of heat incidents. OSHA is the driving force behind a new program just unveiled in April for small to medium-sized businesses whose workers operate in a heat index of 80 degrees or higher. The federal agency reaches out to some businesses, but anyone can request an evaluation. So far, only companies in Alabama are test piloting the technology paid for by the state government. These are important programs because a lot of things such as heat illness can be prevented, but that requires education. Federal figures show on average 35 workers die every year from heat exposure, and there are some 2,700 reported cases of days away from work. Earlier today, the head brewer having to push pause when his core temperature broke 100. So if you want to kind of knock off for a bit, go inside and cool down. As those on the front lines of the heat are focusing on ways to fight back against a rising risk. Sam Brock, NBC News, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.